Hi everyone, Tams here. It's time for a long overdue tea chat Tuesday. I have taken a few weeks off for very good reasons and those of you that are still hanging with me, I wanted to say thank you. Um, so let's get started with a couple of topics I wanted to cover. So let's jump right in. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're like me, you had to spend uh, the first few weeks of the year doing very serious adult things like working and paying bills and doing taxes and all those wonderful things that come with life. But um, moving forward, I have some fun things that I thought were a good fit for paper tams and I thought they would make good content and I thought I'd just run down what's in the pipeline for you guys so that you will know that I have not completely fallen off the earth. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, something fun. Let's talk about penmanship. One of the things I wanted to do this year, I wanted to take a class to improve my penmanship and I also want to eventually take a class to improve my watercolor but I was able to take a class from the master penman Michael Soul earlier this month and it was fantastic. I know a lot of you followed me on Instagram and I did have a couple of people request that I do a video. Uh, the class was amazing. I did not capture any video, any real video during that class because A, I think that's rude. It was a quite pricey class and I think that the content of that class and what we learned is special to that class but I will share a couple of photos with you we were um, we were free to take photos um, it was everything I thought it would be uh, Michael Soul partnered with one of my favorite stationery stores here in the Tampa Bay area, the Paper Seahorse, and they are just, if you've ever been in their shop, they are amazing at cre creating environment. And the Paper Seahorse partnered with a wonderful spot here in the Tampa area called Oxford Exchange and created the most wonderful weekend environment for learning more about Spencerian penmanship. There were many classes, there were lectures, there was even a free talk at the uh, Tampa Museum and um, it, it was just amazing. Uh, <laughs> I believe that it went so well. I only attended one class. I took beginning Spencerian spinman, uh, penmanship and there was also an advance there was a class on flourishing and um, it was it was more than I could have imagined and I think it went so well that there will be some repeats in the future so if you are interested in this and it's something you saw on my Instagram and you want to know more I would encourage you to follow closely the paper seahorse they have an Instagram account I will link it below I would follow Michael Soul. He also has an Instagram account, and I will link that below. And uh, just keep up with it, because he does classes all over the world. But this was pretty awesome. And probably my favorite part was receiving my handmade um, holder, the, the pen holder, the nib holder. It's just, he makes these and they're very special. It was almost equivalent to receiving a Harry, po Harry Potter wand. <laughs> In fact, many people were calling it, it that, and um, just, just beautiful. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I would encourage you if you're interested in this. I learned a ton. I loved the history of American penmanship and how Spencerian was a part of that, and I loved learning how Spencerian is connected to nature. So even if you can only catch a lecture uh, by Michael Soule at some point, I would highly encourage you to do that if you're really into penmanship. Okay, what's going on with journaling? I am keeping up with my journaling. I shared a video several weeks ago about how I am creating my own inserts and I filled up my January insert and I'm going, I am quickly filling up my 
February insert, and I've already got a the makings of a March insert. This is part of me using up what I have. It is uh, an insert for me to practice my watercolors and also practice just my penmanship by doing morning pages. If you're not familiar with morning pages, that is an idea that I got from reading The Artist's Way, which I will link below. For those of you that have been following me for a while, I did mention at the end of 2017 that I was going to turn a new leaf in 2018 and I was going to do a little more with watercolor and I was going to change up the way I do my journaling. So I've been doing that. I've been practicing. I'll insert a few photos here. I do occasionally post photos on Instagram when I have time. And in, in addition to my own practicing, I have a lot to learn about watercolor. Uh, but one of the things I have found when I teach male art classes and journaling classes, a lot of people are very attracted to watercolor. And they want to quickly incorporate watercolor into their crafts, into their journaling, into their mail art. And I have been trying to come up with a way to help people kind of uh, create like a gateway into furthering your, your watercolor. And a lot of people are intimidated because they, they don't think they can draw. And so the first uh, few weeks of this year, I was getting in place some things for a class. I teach sometimes, I've limited my classes, but I do teach male art classes and I'm going to be teaching one this weekend in Tampa. And one of the things I wanted to incorporate is just an introduction to male art. And this is an, ex is an example of something we would be making in our male art class. So you can see you can add your address to that. And I am incorporating watercolor pencils, not watercolors, so there's no need to have to worry about blending colors and all of those sorts of things. And it's really just meant to introduce people to watercolor. Um, so I've been busy coordinating that and putting it into a class. One of the hardest parts about teaching classes is really just structuring how you're going to um, lay out the class and how you're going to teach something to people. And so I've been spending a lot of time on that. I think I've got something. I will try it out at my class this weekend. And if it works, I'm going to share it and share this watercolor uh, trick in an upcoming video. So I wanted to let you know that's in the pipeline uh, for the next week. And I know a lot of people have asked me about it. And I think I've come up with something that will make it really easy, very approachable, and get you at least introduced into watercolors so you can uh, get a feel for it and play with it. And then if you want to take it further and you want to learn more about watercolors, you won't feel so intimidated to go on to take a class yourself. I don't know about you guys, but the first part of the year, I'm always inspired to declutter and organize things. It doesn't last the entire year, that's for sure. But whenever I do feel the, um, well, whenever I feel encouraged to declutter and organize, I take advantage of that. So I'm slowly trying to organize my um, art studio and I'm trying to use up what I have before I buy anything else this year and that includes everything my kits everything and I'm trying to just scale down and figure out exactly which products I use all the time both for my own personal development and also for teaching classes and it's been I know a lot of people are doing this I've actually been inspired by a lot of people uh, just a couple to mention I am inspired by girl in quill she has a, a wonderful uh, YouTube video and also uh, Burgess Taylor who I enjoy watching and I've just noticed this has been a theme um, in a lot of stationary type uh, content that I've seen is to use what you have. So I'm very much inspired by that and it's been quite the experience trying to figure out what I want to keep, what do I actually use, what just looks pretty, you know, displayed. And um, yeah, 
I mean, it's amazing how much stuff I've bought just because it looks pretty. It looks pretty as it was displayed in the shop or in a photo or on Instagram, but I haven't really found a good use for it. <laughs> and uh, that encourages creativity, you know, when you see these things and you know you have them and they're laid out in front of you and the only place you have seen them used is probably like Instagram, it's fun to take all those items and figure out how you would use them. Put your own take on it, your own creative spin. You know, and I wanted to end this video with just a couple of thoughts. I just wanted to take the time to thank all of you that follow me on social media, that follow me on YouTube. I really appreciate it. But I did want to just remind everyone that, you know, Instagram, Instagram photos and YouTube videos and the social media world, that's usually just the best of <laughs> all the content that we have. And just based on a few comments I've gotten or letters I've gotten, I do want you to know that life is not perfect, no matter how good our our Instagram photos look or our watercolor entry looks because all that is so edited and I hope you know that and I am going to try in 2018 to share more real life stuff so to start see all this behind me this is the stuff that I fixed up for you I'm going to show you what the rest of the studio looks like which is not very nice it's a big mess over there. Look at that. Woo. I'm not even going to show you what's on the floor or what's in my supply closet because it is not pretty. And I know a lot of you come here for entertainment. <laughs> but I will I will be trying a lot harder to make sure I am not uh, publishing just the type of content that makes you think you have to have um, everything perfect or you have to have the latest gadgets and that sort of thing I want you to I want you to know that you can write letters you can keep journals you can do you can have a garden you can have beautiful beautiful things in your life and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money one of the reasons I wanted to incorporate these things into my content is because I feel like they are accessible to everyone and they are very rewarding to everyone. So that's all I have for this week. Um, like I said, I've got some things planned for the next week, and I hope you will enjoy. I'll be getting back to some how-to videos, some journal flips, and maybe even product review. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.